We are in Windows 10. I'm going to show you how to turn on and troubleshoot network discovery. Network discovery allows you to view other computers that are on your network so you can browse to them including servers or workstations. So let's go ahead and right click on the start button here and we're going to go ahead and click on the file explorer. Now at the bottom you're going to see network so go ahead and scroll down to that and click network and you'll see here that network discovery is turned off. So if you click there and you say turn on network discovery you, then you can add, answer another question here. Do you want to turn on network discovery and file sharing for all public networks? We're going to say yes. Now you don't want to do this if you're going to be in a coffee shop and your firewall is turned off but you're fine inside your network. All right, so we see our two computers that are on our network now, and if we want, we can browse to them. All right, but if you don't see that, if it still doesn't turn on, then this is how you fix it. So again, go down to your Start button, right-click on your Start button, go to Control Panel. From here, go to Administrative Tools, and then scroll down to where it says services and this is all alphabetical so just go down to the S's double click on services and let's go ahead and minimize these other boxes just to keep from cluttering I like to click on standard so everything jumps to the left which is nice alright so there's a few services that you want to make sure are turned on in order to make this work and one of them is going to be the DNS client. Okay, that one is running, so we're fine. And then we want to go down to the function discovery right there. Okay, go ahead and turn that one on. And you can also double click on that and change that to automatic so it always turns on. Next thing we want to do is press the letter S and it jumps you down to the S's. and go to where it says SSDP Discovery. You can double click on that one as well, change that to automatic so it always starts. And the last one is the UPnP service. There it is right there. Go ahead and change that one to automatic and then click the start. So if your network discovery does not turn on right away, make sure all those services have started and then network discovery will work just fine.